Hey, this is Paul. I'm going to spend a minute and take apart one of the more complicated surge patches, the Flute 2 patch, which sounds really great. And a lot of people look at it and say, great, how did you get that sound? And then they look here at the oscillator section and they realize that all the oscillators are off. So how is this making sound? It's making sound, according to the manual, through filter excitation. Um, but if you actually try and set up this, it's a little tricky. So I have it running here with a um, with a, a scope below it, so you can see what's going on down here. Let me just turn this up a little. Go back over here. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to an init patch. I'll just choose the init saw. Now, of course, not what we want. I'm going to mute the oscillator and just turn on the noise. Okay, at this point you can see we have a spectrum of pure noise. Um, I'm going to turn that down a little. Let me turn that down to about 30%. There we go. Now, the filter mechanism up here is right through a straight through filter, but I'm going to change it to setting 2, which means we get a feedback loop with the first filter, the wave shaper, the second filter, and then the feedback. So, now that we have that, we can start thinking about what's feedback. And feedback, like in a guitar, is when a sound comes back onto itself and reinforces certain frequencies. So we want to pick a frequency out of our noise, which, remember, is a uniform excitation of every part of the spectrum. And so we're going to go over here and pick a, uh, a bandpass filter. Okay? Now, we can see at this point we've basically turned everything down, but what's happening is I'm only getting a subset of the frequencies down here. Great. I'm at the same time going to turn on the wave shaper. I'm going to use um, the asymmetric one and turn it up about this far, yeah, you know, about there. And now you can see we get a non-even distribution of noise. The noise is higher where the filter is uh, pulling it out. And now if we start to turn up the feedback, what will happen? See now that peaking up there? And see that's starting to get a, a real tone. And hey, look at that. We start getting a note. Now it's independent of the key still, but that feedback emerges from the noise. Again, I'll show you. I'll turn the feedback up. Just like feedback emerges from a microphone if you turn it up. Now there's a couple other things we can do. We can change the noise color, which is basically like a filter on the noise. And that makes the signal cleaner. The signal's cleaner, so now we turn this down. We get it a bit noisier, we turn it up, we get it a bit cleaner. Um, and we can do the other thing that Flute 2 does, which is it can key track the cutoff. So the cutoff you can think of with a bandpass filter as kind of being the tuning point. So if I hold a note here and then adjust the cutoff, it becomes tuning for the feedback. And so filter one key track, if I turn that all the way up, so now the cutoff is adjusting with the key. There you go. So now when I play keys up and down, I get notes up and down. And of course, if I adjust key track a little less, it's a bit out of tune. Now, the flute patch also puts the second filter on, which is a comb filter, and key tracks it like this. And that gives it some of that mellower sound. But the real beginning of it comes from this bandpass filter feedback. Where you can see as the feedback goes up, the tone emerges. Hope that's useful.